In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the same app twice on your phone. For example, let's say you have a friend that always uses your phone to log into their Facebook account. So instead of um, always logging you out and then they log into the account, you're just going to have two Facebook apps, one for you and one for your friend, but the Facebook apps are going to be on your phone. Alright, so if that makes sense, then keep watching. So you're going to need an app for this. I'm going to put two links in the description down below where you can download the app. Um, the first is the main app, while the second is just a supporter for the app. Uh, if you don't download the second app, you're going to get errors like the one you're seeing right now on the screen. So please download both apps and then, yeah, let's keep going. Right, so when you're done downloading both apps, this is going to be the second one, while this will be the first one. Um, open up the second one first, just to make it um, stable, and then go back. Now open the first one. I opened the second one to just register it to the device. You don't have to do that, but uh, just to make things faster. Now open up the first one and start giving it all the permissions it needs. So the first one is to tap agree and continue. Tap continue again. Tap allow. Allow and allow. And give the app a few seconds to yeah load. It's done loading and now tap start. Um, I didn't mention this, but uh, you have to know that even though the app is free, it's going to display ads. So, so that's how you support the developers of the app. If you don't want to see ads, you can pay for the premium version. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the free version because I think free is good. Anyways, so now you get a list of some of the apps you have on your phone. If you want to see more apps, just tap this arrow down here. I'm not going to be tapping it because I only want to make examples with um, Facebook and YouTube. So I'm going to tap both of them and uh, you should tap all the apps you want, maybe Messenger or WhatsApp, etc. So when you're done selecting all the apps you want second accounts for, you can tap Add to Parallel Space. And it's going to show you the number of apps you've selected. Here you have to accept the permissions. So because I selected Facebook, it automatically selected Messenger. Because they go hand in hand, I'm sure you guys know that. And if you accidentally selected an app and you don't want it anymore in the list, just tap and hold the app. As you can see, uh, I don't have my um, tap being displayed right now, but just drag the app onto the delete icon up here. I'm not going to do that for now. Right, so now you have the apps that you want, like a second account for. You can just tap any of them to open. And then you're going to get some permission requests. For this, for Facebook, you only have storage, telephone, and location. For some other app, you may only have storage and location. And all that. Just tap grant. And then tap allow. This is for the second app that I installed. So if I hadn't installed it, it will ask me to install it now. But I already did. So I'm just going to keep tapping allow. And allow. Now it's going to start up Facebook. Alright, so Facebook is started now and um, you can just impute your email and your password and then tap login. Alright, so now we are back to the interface of Parallel Space and um, this time I'm going to use YouTube. So I just tapped it and now it's starting up. And yeah, so now I can sign into YouTube and I'll see all the channels I'm subscribed to and all that stuff. Anyways, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, before I go, I just want to say that uh, to explain what parallel space is, is like, just imagine you have a phone inside your phone. So all the apps you have on your main phone, which is the phone you're holding, are going to be different from all the apps you're going to be installing on the virtual phone. I hope I didn't just confuse you. Anyways, bye-bye.